What is going on guys? Grave here today. I'd like to talk about the changes in the Diablo 4 update we received today. These are some really long patch notes. I'm going to link them down in the description below if you would like to read over them for yourself. I'm not going to bore you with a 20 minute video. I'm going to go over some of the highlights and the gameplay changes and then all of the changes to all the classes because there's a lot of class changes. But just kind of in general, there was a lot of bug fixes for dungeons, events, and other activities, gameplay fixes, local co-op fixes, quest fixes, and UI fixes, a bunch of mental, uh, miscellaneous fixes. But when it comes to the few, uh, I think a lot of you will be interested in, uh, in the miscellaneous section or the gameplay adjustment section, they significantly uh, increased the experience awarded for completing Nightmare Dungeons. Also, they increased the experience gained from killing monsters in the Nightmare Dungeons. The Helltide chest now provide more bonus experience when opened. They also increase the reward experience for completing individual whispers across the board. The Helltide roaming bosses will now more consistently drop higher quality loot. Players can now uh, directly teleport to their nightmare dungeon through the map. So you won't actually have to travel there. You can just go directly to that nightmare dungeon from the map, which is a great change. And also weekly bonus caches from world bosses no longer have a uh, level requirement for opening. So if you're like myself, you have some uh, that I got in World Tier 4 when I was power leveling some other characters with friends. I had some that were like 60 plus that I couldn't open. They were in my stash. Uh, those now you should be able to open uh, if you have them saved. And anything you get in the future, you'll be able to open as well because there will no longer be a level requirement on those. Now when it comes to balance changes, this is really kind of what I wanted to go over. There was a ton of balance changes. So let's start with the Barbarian. Uh, the lunging strike base damage was increased from 30 to 33 percent and fury generation was increased from 9 to 10. Uh, fury generated uh, increase from 10 to 11 with bash and enhanced bash fortified increased from 10 to 20. Frenzy base damage increased from 20 to 22. Flay bleeding damage increased from 36 to 40. Uh, fury generated increase from 9 to 10 with flay. Also the enhanced flay's vulnerability uh, chance increased from 10 to 15. Now when it comes to double swing, the base damage was increased from 36 to 40. Kick, cooldown reduced from 17 to 13. Base damage dealt to enemies not back into, into terrain. Uh, terrain increased from 54 to 70. Charge, in, in, enhanced, excuse me, charges base damage dealt to enemies not back into terrain increased from 15 to 30%. Um, mighty leap slow increase from 50 to um, 70 percent also iron skin increased iron skins barrier from 10 to 20 max life uh, call of the ancients prime call of the ancients bonus attack speed increased from 10 to 20 percent iron maelstrom cooldown reduced from 60 to 45 prime iron maelstrom critical strike chance from 10 to 30 percent prime iron maelstrom bonus critical strike damage increased from 20 to 40 and bounding slam base damage increased from 75 to 112 and as you can see we got a lot of buffs with the um each class really as i saw all of these are going to go everything is getting buffed up and that is a great thing when it comes to uh some items for that the damage increase from 16 to 30 percent and 24 to 38 percent and that's kind of on overkill and Hellhammer flat damage increase from 3.5 to 6.8. Now, when it comes to the Druid, uh, the Druid got some changes as well. For the Druid, we have uh, Earth Spike base damage increase from 16 to 17, Spirit generated increase from 10 to 11, and Fierce Earth Spike Fortify increase from 4 to 8. Wind Shear base damage increased to 18 from 17%, uh, 17 and Spirit generated increase from 12 to 13. Claw, the base damage was increased to 22%. The generation increased to 11. A wild claw double attack chance increased to 15. And fierce claw base damage increased to 15. Maul base damage increased to 22. Spirit generated increased to 15. And enhanced maul fortify is increased to 3%. Lightning storm, they increased the lightning storm duration to 6 seconds. And primal lightning storm uh, chance to immobilize increased to 12 seconds. For Shred, the third attack base damage increased to 70%. The Enhanced Shred healing increased to 2% max life. Raging Shred's base damage was increased to 70%. And Primal Shred's bonus critical strike damage was increased to 30%. For the Wolves, the cooldown reduction is now 11 seconds. And the Fierce Wolf Pack Lucky Hit Chance is increased 
from 10% to 40%. For hurricane base damage increase to 134%. Uh, also cataclysm, the base damage is increased to 64%. Lacerate base damage was increased from 400% to 460. Petrify, the critical strike damage bonus is increased to 30%. And Pummel, the base damage increased to 180%. Also, they had several legendary aspect and passive buffs as well on the Druid. When it comes to the Necromancer, uh, Reap base damage was increased to 13%, and the Acolytes Reap cooldown between corpses reduced from 5 to 4. Decompose, the base damage was increased by 3% to 33%. The base essence generation was increased to 8. Uh, the corpse form, uh, formed frequency is increased from 2.5 to 2. Hemorrhage, the base damage increased from 25 to 27, and essence generated was increased to 8. Bone Splinters, base damage increased from 8 to 9 and essence generated from 6 to 7. Sever, uh, the initial base damage increased from 63 to 66. And Enhanced Sever's return base damage increased from 25 to 40%. Supernatural Blood Lance, overpower requirement reduced from 8 to 6 cast. And Bone Prison, the cooldown reduced from 20 to 18 seconds. And Dreadful, Bone Prison's Fortifies increased from 5 to 8 seconds. When it comes to Iron Maiden, the base damage was increased from 10 to 20. Oh, of course, Iron Ma uh, Maiden's damage bonus was increased from 15 to 20%. The Blight Corp uh, tenders, uh, Tendrils excuse me, chance to spawn a Blood Orb increased from 30 to 35. Bone Spikes base damage was increased from 80 to 120. And minions will now always engage targets with a cast curse. Also, some passive and legendary upgrades for the Necro as well. When it comes to uh, the Rogue, the base damage increased on Invigorating Strike from 23 to 25. Blade Shift from 15 to 16. Uh, Heartseeker, of course, base damage 22 to 24. And prim Primary Heartseeker damage increased from 30 to 75%. Forceful Arrow, base damage increased from 20 to 22. Barrage, 20 to 22 as well. Caltrops, uh, chill increases 20 to 25%. Smoke, gra smoke Grenades, cooldown was reduced to 13 seconds. Rain of Arrows, cooldown was reduced to 55 seconds. And Prime Rain of Arrows, imbuement potency is increased to 30%. Volley, the base damage is increased to 105%. And also a couple of passive and legendary aspect changes as well for that rogue. And last but not least, the sorcerer. When it comes to spark, the base damage was increased to 10%. Enhanced spark was from 5.6 to 7%. And flickering sparks chance increases from 3 to 4. Frostbolt, the base damage was increased to 38%. Firebolt, that base damage or burning damage was increased to 44%. Charged bolt, uh, damage increase, the base damage increased to 30%. Incinerate up to 54% on the base damage, the enhanced incinerate up to 25%, and now the greater enhanced immobilized requirement reduced from 4 to 3 seconds. Fireball, the mana cost decreased from 30, uh, from 40, excuse me, 40 to 35. Frozen Orb, the initial base damage increased from 32 to 36. Explosion base damage increased from 29 to 34. Greater Frozen Orb chance to apply Vulnerable increased from 25 to 30%. Blizzard, the base damage increased from 120 to 130. Ice Blades chance to apply Vulnerable increased from 30 to 40. Lightning Spear, Summoned Lightning Spear's maximum damage bonus increased from 100 to 160. Crackling Energy base damage increased to 20%. Freezing Wake base damage increased from 60 to 110%. And of course, there were a couple legendary aspects and changes there as well for uh, the Sorcerer. Overall, this was some really good buffs for all of the classes. They said they wanted the classes to feel powerful and fun with another round of balance updates. In particular, they have seen the community feedback stating that basic skills aren't impactful enough in combat. These changes will not change the fundamental relationship between basic and core skills, but they hope they help smooth out the leveling experience while we explore additional ways to strengthen them. So overall, everything we saw was a buff. Now, was it a crucial buff to some of the best skills on some of these characters or classes? Definitely not. 
but just in general everything was buffed for once instead of like the last large update we had where a lot of nerfs went on for each class so hopefully they're going to continue to buff these classes uh, to make them more powerful more enjoyable to play more fun to level up and more fun in the end game experience anyway guys leave me a comment let me know your thoughts and of course if you like the video hit the like if you have not subscribed yet please do so and i'll catch you next time peace